Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about qualitative research approach. Let us start with an unresolved question as whether or not we can measure things like love or racism the way we can measure temperature or the weight of a star. This is why psychology is often called as an almost science. Aside from brain scanning methods, can we really measure psychological things when we have no direct access to them? As we have discussed in our previous video, most of those methods are static such as survey instruments and inflexible as you can't change a question because a participant doesn't understand it and you can't provide a what rather than a why. But sometimes researchers are more interested in the why and the how. That's where the qualitative methods come in. Qualitative methods are about speaking to people directly and hearing their words. Qualitative data is not made up of numbers, but it is made up of descriptions, metaphors, symbols, quotes, analysis, concepts, and characteristics. It uses interviews, written text, art, photos, and other thick materials to make sense of human experiences and to understand what these experiences mean to people. Quantitative methods ask what and how much while qualitative methods ask why and how. Qualitative methods are about describing and analyzing phenomena from a human perspective. There are many different philosophical views on qualitative methods. But in general, they agree on one thing that some things are too complex or impossible to measure with standardized instruments. They also accept that it is impossible to be completely objective in observing phenomena. Some of such cases are people come with their own thoughts, attitudes, experiences and beliefs about things and they always color how we interpret the things that happen around us. There are many different approaches to qualitative research. Case studies and narrative studies are best for single individuals. Phenomenology aims to explain experiences. Grounded theory develops models and describes processes. Ethnography describes cultural groups. Depending on the research question, the people participating and the kind of information they want to produce, researchers will choose the appropriate approach. Qualitative research does not look into casual relationship between variables, but into themes, values, interpretations, and meanings. As a result, qualitative research cannot be applied to people outside the research participants. However, the insights gained from qualitative research can extend to other groups with proper attention to specific historical and social contexts. I hope you like this video. Please share these videos with everyone who is preparing for this exam. Thank you.